out of season vlog was filmed in March 2020. Since filming, some businesses have had to shut. Please check the businesses' websites before visiting any of our suggestions. Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today, a stay in Cornwall vlog at Tredarup Holiday Farm Cottages near Port Isaac. Darrett Farm Holiday Cottages offer four different holiday homes. Situated on the edge of Bodmin Moor, they offer luxury accommodation, access to some fabulous walks and only a seven mile journey to the picturesque Port Isaac or Port Wen to Dot Martin fans. Today we're at Tredarrett Farm Cottages and this is Stable Cottage. Do you want to have a look around? Mm -hmm. When you come in the front door, turn to this beautiful, spacious kitchen, dining, living area. So this used to be the old stable and they've kept the height of the ceiling. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so we're having a quick look around our first impressions. Let's go and find the other rooms. Yeah. Come on, let's go. On our right, what's in there? Great big bath. Oh, no, it's huge, isn't Monster it? Monster bath. Looks very nice. This bath is so fancy, Sarah, it even comes with instructions. And relax. Oh, and I know what that's for. Wine? Yes. <laughs> film you on the loo. I'm not actually on the loo. Well, I am on the loo. It's like Christmas, I can unwrap stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> That's wicked sense of humour, I like that. Where are we going now, sir? Another room on the right. Come on, okay. let's go in here. Look at this. Oh, this is the twin. So this is the kids' room. Wow. Should we show them what it looks like or not? No, let them guess. <laughs> It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Like two single beds, some squeaky floorboards. Which one are you? You're naughty. Okay. <laughs> What's the main bedroom like? <gasps> Let's have a look. Come on, then. Let's go and find it. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. Wow. You certainly do get the wow factor when you walk in this room, haven't you? Look at this. It's amazing. It's big, isn't it? It's it blows it's you away, actually, yeah. doesn't it? It is beautiful. <laughs> en suite shower room. Well, what do you say? Speechless. Yeah, I'm pretty speechless as well, actually. On a serious note, it is really beautiful. It's so luxurious. It is, it's and it's so spacious. Gorgeous, isn't it? It is. So a quick tour, a preliminary, no, I can't say that word, <laughs> preliminary <laughs> glance around and it's made me speechless, it's, it's really beautiful isn't I've it? I've got another room to show you. Have you? An outside room. Oh! Come on. Stable door, because we're in a stable. Oh look at this. Picnic table, is that what you're showing me? No, turn over there look. Oh my goodness me. Wow. So what do you make of it? What's your first impressions? First impressions, it's a beautiful conversion. It's so spacious and done to a very high standard. We'll have a look at the finer details about maybe what's been provided, the bathroom, the cleanliness, that sort of thing in a minute. But let me just show you this wonderful welcome basket. So we've got a few treats over here, some beautiful homemade scones. And I should imagine that's some bread in there. Bread. 
Ooh, goodies. What's in there, Sarah? Hey, we've got some apple juice, strawberry jam, honey, butter, tea, coffee. What else is on the conveyor belt, Bruce? <gasps> Cuddly toy. <laughs> Tea's made. I think these might even be the eggs from the farm. What do you think? Oh yes, they're oh, they definitely are. free range eggs, aren't they? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so hang on, we got bread, we got butter, we got scones. We've oh. even got some honey. Cream. Jam. Cream. 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 We're on. missing. We're missing cream. It must be in the big red thing in the room. Oh, uh, it's going to be a big disappointment cream. if it's not in there. <laughs> Proper Cornish clotted cream. Rodder's Cornish cream. Lovely. And some milk. Oh, that's wonderful. Amazing. It's fantastic. I think I need a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, quick question. Mm. Where do you think we're going to go for our food tonight? Where's the closest village? I think St Tap is the closest one and the White Hart is in St Tap. Okay, sounds nice. Have a look at the menu that looks like it might suit you. Okay, cool. So St Tef and St Tudy's St. close Tudy by is as well, close isn't it? By, yeah. The, um, the owner is Lorraine. She says there's a fantastic gastro pub in St Tudy, so you've got a choice really. A couple of options, fantastic. So we've done that first impressions giddy dance around. Let's have a look at what we've actually got here to play with. Let's have a look at the kitchen. We've got bread bin, toaster, all the utensils you could possibly wish for if you were going to cook here. We've got a full knife block. We've also got pepper and salt grinder and some olive oil. So if you did want to stay in, it's a fully equipped kitchen. You could cook a meal very easily here. The whole cottage barn conversion is, is heated by these fantastic radiators. They're pumping out so much heat, it's lovely. We have a wood burner, lovely and cozy for the out of season stay. Yeah, when we were on honeymoon, we had a log fire. <laughs> how many times, how many nights did you try and light that? A few. <laughs> I gave up in the end. And what about this floor? Have you noticed the floor? This floor is incredibly old, isn't it? Have you seen the markings as well on the floor? I think that was for drainage when it was a stable. Throughout the property they've kept these beautiful granite floors. They run the whole length, look. And as you walk through you do notice how immaculately clean it is. It's very well presented. There's not a fingerprint or a mark. It's immaculate. Should we try and find some food then? I think so, I'm getting really hungry. Should we head into St. Tep? Wow, my curry was excellent. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. Traditional Fantastic food pub, yeah. in a traditional pub. And it was busy. Yeah, yeah. and dogs everywhere. Yeah. Very dog friendly pub.
makes sense. So. <laughs> the gloopy stage. <laughs> This is going to be our new channel, <laughs> Cook, Cooking with Sarah. No! <laughs> I'd say that's nearly pancake consistency, wouldn't you? Me, miss, me. Chocolate sauce oh, and orange. Oh, Fresh lovely. Orange. <laughs> That's set me up for the day. From here at Shazarup, it's only a few moments drive to the stunning, remote and rugged Bodmin Moor. Bodmin Moor is a great place to go walking, but you really need to know your way around. You need an ordnance survey, you need a compass, and this time of year, it's going to be boggy. Calling all Doc Martin fans, Tridarup is so close to Port Isaac or Port Wen, you can easily visit in a day and enjoy the sights of Port Isaac. But the beauty of this place is that you can leave it behind and enjoy the peace and quiet of our Cornish countryside. You're actually in the heart of many of the filming locations used for Doc Martin. We visited Altonun. It's a village that is, well, you feel like you're stepping back in time. The church in Altonham was the backdrop for Louisa and Dot Martin's wedding. So this is Altonham Church where Dot Martin gets ready to marry Louisa. Second time lucky. So let's take a look at some of the photos and see if we can marry them up. Dot Martin is pensively looking up at the church as he's just got out of the taxi. Will he do it this time? Dot Martin is intercepted by PC Penn Hale who's made himself best man for the event. Here we see the wedding party coming up to the church. So I think we've proved that Dot Martin used Altonham Church to marry Louisa. So for Daphne du Maurier fans, this is quite close to Bodmin Moor. Jamaica Inn, her book, was inspired by the inn of that name on Bodmin Moor. They've got a fantastic little museum up there with some personal effects from Daphne du Maurier's collection and it is really good fun. You're in the stocks for your terrible jokes. I've been convicted of pasty smuggling. <laughs> of not being funny. It's a fair cop. I really enjoyed that, obviously capitalising on the story by Daphne du Maurier, but it's fabulous. Isn't it, it is, it's yeah. tongue in cheek entertainment, good food. Oh, we've lived in Cornwall all our lives, we've driven past this place many yeah. a time. As a we? kid, this was the main road. Never been in, certainly worth a visit, absolutely brilliant. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Thumbs up to Jamaica Inn. For walking, the southwest coast path is nearby. There are a large number of circular walks that you could access from here. A couple of suggestions. We've got a video on our channel from Daymar Bay to Rock. That's a lovely walk. Some stunning views on the Camel Estuary. Another video that you might like is Tintagel to Barith Strand. Whilst we mentioned Tintagel, English Heritage have recently opened a brand new bridge that links the island with the ruins of King Arthur's castle to the mainland. There is a video if you wanted some inspiration and what you might see, I'll put the link at the end. Our one night stay in Tridarup Holiday Farm Cottages and if you are interested after this video I will put the link to their website in the description. So did you enjoy it here? Fabulous time, met some sheep. <laughs> <laughs> there are some animals that they're really happy for you to interact with and they are beautiful aren't they? Absolutely, it's, it's luxury here, it's an absolute pure bliss. The rolled up bath, well that's, that's just begging to be used isn't it? And the walking from here, I think you could have a splendid walking holiday. So golden question, would you stay here again? <laughs> I would definitely stay here again. It's been absolutely superb. I totally agree. It's been so warm, cosy, even though it's so spacious. Oh, I could go on. Yeah, I'd stay, stay again. So we have had a night's accommodation gifted to us. So thank you very much for having us, Lorraine and Graham. Yeah.